and welcome to Mexico News Network's Daily Report. I'm your host, Mara Thompson. Today we have new information for you, but first, don't forget to visit us at mexiconewsnetwork.com as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus so you can always stay on top of all the relevant information of Mexico and the world. Let's start with today's show. Daniel Ramirez Medina, a 23-year-old Mexican with no criminal record, was taken into custody by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers last week while he was at his father's home in Seattle. The officers went to arrest the man's father, but since Daniel was present at the moment, he too was taken in. Ramirez, now in custody in Tacoma, Washington, was granted temporary permission to live and work legally in the United States under a program called the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, known as DACA, established in 2000. 2012 by President Barack Obama. He arrived to the U.S. from Mexico when he was seven years old. The government granted him a DACA card in 2014 and renewed it in 2016, according to court papers filed by his attorneys. Immigration rights groups say they believe this may be the first time a dreamer has been arrested without cause, and both immigrant advocacy groups and Democrats have expressed concern that the Trump administration will escalate immigration enforcement efforts in line with the president's tough stance toward undocumented immigrants. Trump has promised a crackdown on the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants in the United States, most of whom come from Mexico and other Latin American countries. A move against DACA recipients like Ramirez would represent a significant broadening of immigration enforcement under Trump. In other news, Mexico, considered to be the birthplace of maize, which is also known as corn, receives 8 million units of this plant per year, the majority coming from the United States because of the country's insufficient production to satisfy the demand of the domestic market. However, the situation could change because several organizations are calling for a boycott towards the importation of this product, since the majority of farmers that send their maize to Mexico are from the Midwest, in particular Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, and Indiana, states that were determinant in giving the triumph to Donald Trump in the presidential election of the United States. The campaign No Maiz Gringo also asks not to buy American soy because it is a product that also used to be produced mainly in Mexico. This would be the second boycott against American products caused by the anti-American stance of U.S. President Donald Trump. Moving on to more positive news, the winners of the World Press Photo 2017 have been announced and this year the images are powerful. World Press Photo Foundation is an independent non-profit organization established in 1955 in Amsterdam and is currently famous for organizing the world's most prestigious journalistic photography competition. Each February, an international jury made up of 13 members comes together and chooses the winners of each category, among all the photographs sent by photojournalists, agencies, newspapers, magazines, and independent photographers from all parts of the world. The highest award was earned by Turkish photojournalist Burhan Osbilici for his photograph An Assassination in Turkey, which captured the murder of the Russian ambassador in Ankara, Andrei Karlov, on December 19, 2016. Latin American participation did not go unnoticed, since the Brazilian photographers Lalo de Almeida and Felipe Dana and the Chilean Tomás Munita were awarded as well for the portraits of the consequences of the Zika virus on Brazilian children, the photograph of a car bomb exploding next to Iraqi special forces as they advanced towards Islamic State-held territory in Mosul, Iraq, and their work on the funeral of Cuban revolutionary leader Fidel Castro, respectively. This was all for today. My name is Mara Thompson and this is Daily Report by Mexico News Network. Remember to follow us on our social networks and to log on to mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information of Mexico and the world. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked her content, remember to like and subscribe. If you want to always stay on top of the daily news, visit our playlist and take a look at our written articles if you don't want to ever miss any detail of what's happening in Mexico and the world.